Hey everybody, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome back to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. I am so excited about today's episode. This episode was unplanned. It's kind of more spontaneous because Trash Panda hooked us up on this channel. Thank you so much to Jesse and the team over there for sending some of their inner core discs. I am super excited to let you guys know my thoughts on these discs and just what is going on at Trash Panda Disc Golf. Alrighty, so these discs are PDGA approved. These are a putt and approach disc and in the hand, they feel really, really good. But they have a really unique shoulder over here. It's not completely flat on top. There is a little bit of a shoulder, not quite a thumb track, but definitely a little bit, you can feel it with your thumb. It is beadless and as you can tell, it is pretty narrow. The disc feels really, really good in the hand. This plastic is pretty flexible. It feels closer to premium plastic, so basically it's going to hold its flight for a lot longer, which is great. Now, Jesse hasn't released any flight numbers because he's wanting the community to kind of give him some idea about what they think this disc flies like. So I took this disc out to Liberty Park and you know, um, I've talked about discs where you can put them on any line and they'll hold it. And I know a lot of other YouTubers have talked about the same thing. So it was really interesting that Jesse said this about this disc and I wanted to test that theory. Spoiler alert, it does hold whatever line you put it on, but let's actually see it in flight so that we can learn how this disc can actually help us with our form and technique. So one of the things that I found really interesting about this disc is that whether you put it on hyzer, flat, or anhyzer, it really does hold that line consistently. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can manipulate a disc to get it to fly on Anheuser and then still fade and finish flat, even on an understable disc. As you're seeing on a couple of these holes, I threw it on Heiser, tried to throw some Anheuser, and it really held the line. But one thing I realized is that this disc is not flippy whatsoever. But I think for the average disc golfer, this is going to be a disc that really tells you how you threw. And that's really important because as we're working on our games as amateur disc golfers, it's great to have tools in the bag that we can use to help us dial in our throw. So this disc will react exactly how you threw it, not how you think you threw it. One of the things that I realized while throwing this disc is that while it is great on the backhand, it is not very good on the forehand. I had a hard time really throwing it with forehand, even though it feels comfortable in the hand. I think just the torque that comes with a forehand throw kind of makes it uh, turn and burn, so to speak, and you don't really get a whole lot of fly of it. Now, if you throw it, you know, a little nose up and on hyzer with a soft little wrist flick, you'll be able to get some flight out of this disc, but I don't really foresee this disc being a great forehand option even though it feels pretty good in the hand. But the speed of the disc is real. This is not a one or two speed disc. I would definitely label this disc as a three speed. This thing moves uh, very, very fast, but I would say it has a little bit less glide than some other putters. So I would put the glide somewhere around two or three. I wouldn't touch four glide, at least in my experience. Now, when it comes to turn, I'm going to say zero turn. I don't quite find it understable. It doesn't really turn out of the hand and even on an Anheuser line, it's not flipping over super fast. It's really holding it and just gliding. So I think that it has a little bit more integrity to its flight. And now we come to the fade. I'll probably give this a, a zero fade or a 0.5 fade. I, I think that is more accurate to the number zero to 0.5 because it's really not going to hyzer unless you throw it on hyzer but it will also hold all the other lines you throw it on with minimal adjustment. But make sure you go and try and get an inner core. I know their first batch has gone out and I know they're looking to do some future runs as well and really try and get as many of these amazing putters in your hands. So go ahead and check that out. Make sure you follow Trash Panda Disc Golf on YouTube so that you can see just the science behind making these really cool discs. Until next time, everyone, have a great round.